Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate the gesture control and voice control of the new DJI Neo 2. Gesture control is a new feature of the Neo 2. Voice control has been around since the Neo 1, but I'm gonna demonstrate it as well for those who are brand new and are gonna be picking up the Neo 2 as their first drone. Now, gesture control has been available on other drones as well. I think it was the Spark that had it, but I think the Neo is the very first drone where it's very beneficial. It works extremely well and especially if you're tracking with it or you're using the spotlight mode, you can easily move the drone around. You can raise it, lower it, bring it in closer. So while you're filming, you can adjust things on the fly. So now I've got the drone in follow mode, but this works in other modes as well. And again, it can be really beneficial. So we're going to launch the drone here. Rear, follow. So the drone is locked onto us and we have it set at high from the rear. But say we want it down a little bit lower, all I have to do is put my palm up. You can see I can now move the drone from side to side. I can raise it back up and I can lower it back down. And you know it's locked onto you when the light at the front turns to blue. So right now you probably can't see that on this camera, but it's white or a whitish color. And as soon as I put my palm up, it turns blue. And now I can place it around to wherever I want it. The other thing we can do is two palms. If we move our palms together now, drone is gonna come closer to us. If we spread our palms apart, it's gonna move farther back. So for a tracking drone, it's really handy. So we might be tracking right now from a distance but say we want it to move in a little bit closer. Instead of having to pull our phone out, we can just adjust the distance there. And now it's following us from a closer distance. So really beneficial, especially if you're even using something like Spotlight, then uh, you'll be able to position the drone as you're filming yourself. Now some of the other modes that won't be as useful, but definitely for tracking and Spotlight, it's a really valuable tool. So now I'm gonna demonstrate voice control here for you. Uh, it can be useful in some scenarios as well. If you look at the main screen here, we have this talk bubble. And if we tap on that, it's gonna bring up this other dialog box where it's listening for commands. And if we tap on check settings, we can actually enable voice wake up where we have to simply say, hey, fly. And then the drone is going to start listening without having to hit that talk bubble manually. And from that same page, you can see it gives us a list of commands that we can say. We can tell it what we want it to do. If we want it to do a droney, a circle, it has some following commands. You can see we can say closer, further, higher, lower, and we have some safety. We can tell it to land, break, or stop. So I'll just demonstrate that here for you. So now we're back at the main page here and I can just simply say, hey, fly. Here. Follow. Follow. So as you can see, it went right into the follow mode. Higher. Got it. So you can see I just gave it the higher command. Oop, I'm going to bump into a tree there. Lower. Got it. So now it's coming down a little bit lower. So yeah, it can be really handy. So we'll head back this way and I'm going to tell it to farther. Okay. So we just gave it the farther command and it's going to follow us from a farther distance. And of course we can just simply tell it to stop. No problem. So yeah, that is just a quick look at gesture control and voice command on the Neo 2. Very beneficial, especially the gestures if you're tracking. You know, you can even be on a bike, stop the bike, give it a gesture to move it around, bring it in closer or farther back, all without having to stop recording or get off the bike. So it's going to be beneficial for a lot of people. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.